Well, the next big leap in space travel will begin in Colorado. Lockheed Martin will develop and test a nuclear-powered spacecraft. Now, the goal is to shorten long journeys through space. Most of that work will be done at Lockheed's facility that is near Roxboro State Park. Karen Morfitt is your reporter in Jefferson County, and she explains this groundbreaking project. Nuclear power is certainly not new technology, but it is when it comes to powering a spacecraft. Lockheed Martin now developing a system for it and plans to test it in the next five years. The excitement around space exploration is building. And liftoff of Artemis 1. Human space flight, a lot of lunar mobility vehicles, and so really exciting times for lunar exploration and, and, and deep space exploration. Lockheed Martin is one of roughly 400 companies in Colorado involved in some of the most groundbreaking missions in space. Gary Napier, a spokesperson for the company, says their next big project, the development of a nuclear thermal rocket engine vehicle that could change space travel. We can leave it on longer and ultimately get to places much faster. So now if we're sending humans to Mars, instead of the traditional six to nine months it takes for a vehicle to get there, we could get them there as potentially as, as fast as three to four months. Partnering with BWX Technologies to develop the engine, it would use a nuclear reactor to heat a hydrogen propellant, creating an extremely high hot, pressurized gas, and then a powerful thrust. A process, though, that wouldn't start until well after leaving the Earth's atmosphere. Somewhere in the, the 1,000 to 2,000 kilometers away, this is a very safe altitude to where that spacecraft can never come back, even after that a nuclear reactor is ignited and the fission process starts. So it's a very safe um, approach to this demonstration. Well, the testing for this engine is set for 2027. Getting humans to Mars wouldn't be until much later. That goal right now is for the mid-2030s. From Lockheed Martin, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.